All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's do this. Jurassic Dinosaur deck. Uh, this deck was used by Tyranno Hasselberry, and I think in the GX series. So let's get into it. Cabazals. Um, two Sabersaurus. Now, it may not be a disclaimer. It may not be exactly the same card to use, but it's roughly in the same ballpark. It's pretty similar. You have to make it somewhat competitive in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! You know what I mean? So don't I always say this. Don't hold me to that. It may not be the exact number and the exact down to the T of the uh, character's cards. But hey, it's a... Uh, Roughly in the same ballpark, but anyway, let's keep going. Megalomasha X one, uh, one baby Saurus, uh, the, the uh, what, yeah, Petite, what is it, Petite Randodon? I call it the, the Triceratops. <laughs> I probably got it wrong, that's probably the wrong uh, dinosaur, but hey, um, Gilosaurus, I didn't realize how good he was. I have him in real life. And kind of like tossed him to the side. Now that you know that I've played him and seen his effect, that's really good if you draw him first turn. Like he's not limited, so you can play three of him. And if you're down, if you only play 40 cards and that increases your chance of getting him first turn, that's really good because nine times out of ten, despite the uh, meta being so special summon heavy. They're not going to have a monster in the graveyard first turn. So if you ha have him out and have Jurassic World in your hand, that's 1800. That's a free 1800, you know. And th they don't get the special summon anything from their graveyard because they don't have anything in their graveyard. That's a free monster. I didn't realize how good that really was. And then, and that opens them up, opens you up for like getting a tribute out if you have a beater in your hand because that's a special summon. Giant Rex. Hyper Hammerhead, good for catapulting cards back to the hand. So that's like the multiple, not multiple, the monster version of uh, Compulse. Um, Element Saurus, Tyranno Infinity, Black Stego, Destroyer Saurus. He's good for searching out um, Jurassic World without running um, Terraforming. I think that, that is what's Terraforming, right? <laughs> And filling up with more magic than what, what what you already got, so he's good for searching that out. And again, that's a good combo. Him and then he powers up all like the weaker dinosaurs. So it's like this deck, like I've said before, reminds me this is like a brute strength deck without skill drain, because most brute strength decks are like skill drain, skill drain dependent. If they're not dragons, because dragons are brute strength also naturally. Uh, Black Velocity. Uh, Evil Swarm Salamandra, uh, Black Br Brachios. That's why I said it's not the exact. Evil Swarm is running out then, <laughs> but it's like it's in the ballpark. It's a dinosaur deck, and he did run dinosaurs. Um, Black Brachios, uh, Miscellaneousaurus. What is this? Soul Eating of of Raptors. I was reading the actual card and had the two in the way instead of reading the title. And, uh, you know. That's why I was like, what is this? I was looking at the card that two was blocking the first two letters. Don't worry, I can see. I was just looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I had two of him in here first because he has a really good effect. But I took him out because it kind of screwed with the synergy even more. So I won the last two games, the last two videos. So ever since taking the other one out, trust me, when you add a card, add a couple, take a couple out, it makes a difference in the card game, trust me. It may not seem like much. Two may be seem like a small number with taking cards out and adding them in. But it can it, it uh, weirdly screw with your deck synergy. For better or for worse. Uh Rex, he's good for like running over um link cards. Especially when you got Jurassic World on the field. Put him up to what was that? What's that? Twenty three? That's that's a pretty good attack. Um, Beat Raptor, three of those. Dark Dresseratops, one. Black Tyranno, one. One Cyber Dinosaur. Ultimate Tyranno, one. Very, very good card. Attack all your opponent's monsters. I did that when facing the Magicians. Attack all your opponent's monsters once. Only thing is, your other monsters can't attack when he can attack. 
So he has to attack first. Uh, Superconductor Tyranno. Uh, what's that? S Sauropod Brachion. Super Ancient Dino Beast. One. And of course, the boss card of the deck, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. All right. Dark Hole. Yes, I still use Dark Hole. Even though Regeki's out and you can run two Regeki's, I still run Dark Hole. Yes. One Regeki. Uh, one Monster Reborn. Big Evolution Peel. Very good card. You can summon dinosaurs without tributing. Do you know that that frees up your your hand from bricking as far as monsters go? Of course, you only got three turns to do it, but that's all you really need when you're running this many boss cards. Tail Swipe, one. One Space Time, Transcendence, which I didn't really use. Uh, Jurassic World, of course. Um, Lost World, one. Hand destruction one, like if you, that's good for I guess again helps with the bricking, but I didn't really use that. So I think and you know what I don't really use that. I never really use that at all. H Hunting instinct one, one survival instinct, survival of the fittest, very good especially when you pair it up with ultimate tyranno. I think that's that's him on the card anyway, or superconductor, and uh, or ultimate conductor. It's really with any dinosaur. It helps out because this is like a brute strength. You want to pummel your opponents into submission. One Heavy Storm Duster. One Seismic Shockwave. Uh, Master Master Flare Hyperion 1. One Link Spider. One Mrs. Radiant. Defender of the Labyrinth 1. One Gali Gaia Sabre. The Lightning Shadow. Agave Dragon 1. And Wrestle Light. Which I didn't really use the Link. I don't really Link Summon that much anyway. I'm, it's just... I'm not saying they're useless. I just I need to I do need to do it more because it helps out with the combos of the deck. Anyway, let's duel. So he's going first. I'm gonna save this because I might not get any tributes three turns, and then it'll be a waste. See see what I mean? Look at that. That's a that's a free card. Special summon. Uh-huh. Yep, most monsters have a weak defense. We face a Mecha Phantom B. That's the breath of, breath of fresh air. I don't face those a lot. Those are pretty good too. I think they were meta once back in like, what was it? Early 2012, wasn't it? Remember when Draco Sack was, was like the most sought after card back in the day? It was around, it was like early 2012 when, when that with Dino Rabbit. And then Sectors. It was around at that time, like late 2011, early 2012. Early, mid 2012, I want to say. Right around time, because I remember Dark Worlds were meta for that short period of time, because they had that structure deck. That was insane. I mean, Dark Worlds were everywhere. I remember before that structure deck, didn't nobody give a hoot. I think Dark Worlds came. I think was, was it Invasion of Chaos? When was that? Dark Worlds came around during the original. It wasn't, it was it GX? It, it was like I think it was still the original Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was like at the end. They were part of that 2005 class, I think. I, f I feel like I saw Dark Worlds right around 2004, 2005, or 2005, 2006. I'm trying to. God, I can't pinpoint it. It's been so long. It's been 20 years. 20, really 21 years. Ain't that something? My, how time flies.
facing the synchro deck. I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. And he's going to summon again. Knew he was going to do that. Oh. Time we get out the slump, we get kicked back in it. Every time. He's going to summon his whole deck. Of course. Oh my heaven! Oh my god, look at this broken field. I'm not gonna be able to activate anything. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe if the channel series grow. Take care. Catch you guys in the next episode, all right? Peace out.